what is up guys it is tool guy y here and um i'm gonna start doing a new segment for you guys um, i'm gonna put a little uh i'm gonna put a different playlist for you guys um and that segment is gonna be called tech tip tuesdays um so i'm gonna try get one out every tuesday um i can't guarantee every tuesday because i may run out of tips um but as the tips come through i will post them and um to start off tech tip tuesday i'm gonna start off with something i'm very comfortable with um, I've been doing a lot of EVAP cores lately. I just did four in a row. Um, to be honest, it's been kicking my ass. Um, but I'm very comfortable with it, so let's get into that. So to start off the EVAP core tech tip, I'm going to give you guys two tips today. Um, or maybe three. Three tips. Um, if First tip, um, if you guys are actually working on a customer car, um, I don't recommend you guys using your work boots because work boots, they tend to hold uh, grease. Um, grease tends to stick to them very well, and it's very easy to get um, to get uh, dirt everywhere in the car, um, you know, grease and whatnot. And it's very easy to get the car dirty. So I recommend that you do use different shoes. Um, I do have like my I just wear my regular shoes that I wear out every day. Um, I usually just call these my EVAP core shoes. But that is tech tip number one. Very simple, very easy to do. Um, secondly. Um, Always look up ProDemand or all data, whatever um, database you guys use. Always look it up first uh, because um, there's actually two ways that you could do evap cores. Um, the first way is where the dash comes off in one piece, and to do that, usually there's a big connector at the bottom and the big connector at the bottom of the driver's side as well, along with these uh, bolts right here. So if you remove this panel right here, there's going to be some bolts. Also, if you remove the panels down here, um, you'll see that there's a connector right there. Um, so definitely look up ProDemand first because it can be like a four-hour job where you just drop the um, glove box and you can slide the EVAP core out this way. Or you can um, remove it in one panel, um, one piece, which will be about eight hours. Or you remove panel by panel, which is the second way. Um, and that second way... You would have to remove this panel by this panel by this panel, unbolt everything, um, and just work your way down. So you would have to remove everything to get to that HVAC box, and um, that is the longer way. So tech tip number two is definitely, I recommend looking it up before you start, because that in the long run can save you a lot of time. And tech tip number three is coming to you... Um, as I start working on it and that's going to be labeling everything. I do recommend um, when you do label things it doesn't have to be right like for this one I put bottom and for the bottom all it just means is that there's connectors on the bottom that I go to. It doesn't have to be the correct connector like um, it doesn't have to be the connector name or anything it's just something that reminds me to put it at the bottom. Also this one says steering because it goes to the steering wheel and four wheel drive because that's the four wheel drive selector but something simple like that something easy that will help you remember where they go to and um, recommendation use bright colored tape um, most of the time if there is a connector that's disconnected while you're putting it back it will cause something very apparent and very noticeable or it may cause a light like an airbag light traction control or whatnot so just label it with bright colored tape so you don't miss it and you can read it Lastly guys, here's a pretty uh, easy tip for you guys, um, very common sense, but make sure whenever doing evac course, stay organized, cupcake tins help out with that very nicely, allows you to organize your bolts so you don't have any extra ones, but yeah, just don't forget to stay organized as well. Alright guys, so that was my Tech Tip uh, Tuesday, my first ever Tech Tip Tuesday, and I hope to get more out to you guys just to help you guys out, um, give you some, you know... Um, views from someone else maybe something you guys never saw before or never thought of hopefully that helped you guys out um, and as well as that um, those are the three things three things I recommend when um, doing an evap course so just keep that in mind next time you do an evap course it's always good practice to practice that um, stay clean one of them is to stay clean the second one is to always look things up analyze double check everything what the actual procedure is with evap cord because most of the time or some of the times there are easier ways to do it um, and thirdly label everything because it will make your job so much easier in the long run so just keep that in mind next time you're doing an evap cord i hope this i hope this helps out 
Um, hope you guys have a great day. Shoot.